2016 left your finances in shambles. It's time to pick up those pieces. Many people are making resolutions and of course that includes finances as one of all of our goals. So if finances are on your list too, we have Kimberly Washington, a CPA who has five financial tips to help you keep your financial goals in 2017. And we also have Nadia Davis who successfully used these tips and Nadia, I want to hear all about your story in just a second. But first, Kimberly, break down those tips for those, the new year. Those tips are very easy. If you think about what's called the badge, that's what I like to use in this budgets, assets, debt, goals, and earnings. These are five key principles. If you apply to your finances, you can get a major change this year in your finances. And Nadia, you've been working the badge system for two years now. Naya, <laughs> sorry. Um, so tell us, how's your life different now than it was two years ago? Certainly. Thanks <laughs> for having me. My finances are in a much better state um, now that I follow the badge. Initially, when I first started, I looked at debts. I'm a person who doesn't like a whole lot of debt, so I had <laughs> carryover from Katrina and SBA loan, yeah. credit cards, and so the first thing was to eliminate my debts. And then I went through the badge again and I calculated my assets and realized while my credit was good, I had money in the bank, mm -hmm. I needed to build assets. And so that started me on the journey to purchase a home, and I'm happy to say in 2017, I'll purchase my first home Excellent. and build and I'm very well on my way to build assets. That is awesome. The very first part of the program is mm -hmm. budgeting. Yes, very, very, very important. If you don't have a budget in place, and I always say when budgeting is not your thing, you can think about three key principles, and that is first, A, automate your savings. That's the first thing. B, budget for your bills, and then that's C, cash for everything else. If you follow those principles, then you can stay within budget and also live within your means. Yes, or below your means. Below your means, yes. that's correct. And Naya, what would you say was the hardest part <laughs> of the program for you? I think the hardest part was realizing I didn't have any assets. I thought it was great. You know, my, my mother raised me to have great credit, to do well with budgeting, and to save, and I had all of that, and I thought that that was great. And then when I calculated my net worth, yeah. I, just, I, just, I just melted, because I'm like, I've worked, I have money, I have low debt, and I have, my net worth is $1,500. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so I said, okay, well, we're gonna have to make some changes, and so we're gonna definitely have to build assets. Mm -hmm. And so purchasing a home to me uh, felt like the easiest thing because I'm already paying for housing, so now this needs to be right. housing that's going to help me build my net worth. Yeah. And I'd imagine, since you are working the system, that you are going about buying a house a lot differently than maybe a lot of us have in the past where there was formerly 100% financing for mortgages, right. or you have an FHA loan, which only requires, what, 3 to 5% right. down or something like that. How are you doing things differently and a little bit smarter? Mm -hmm. Certainly. Well, I mean, because I'm in a good position in terms of my savings and my credit, I'm able to have a, a, a wide variety of choices when it comes to mortgage products, so I don't necessarily have to uh, choose FHA. I can choose conventional. Mm -hmm. um, I can uh, participate in different programs uh, that the bank offers, and so so it really increased my options in terms of um, now I get to be choosy about which mortgage mm -hmm. product I want as opposed to um, letting the bank tell me which ones I only qualify yes. for. So that's a huge it's difference. It's got to feel good to be in the driver's yes. seat rather than just like scraping by or that's holding right. on by the seat mm -hmm. of our pants. Yeah. So last word, Kim, what do you want people at home that if they could only do <laughs> one of these five things? If what, they can what only they do? do one, I would say start with the budget. Start with understanding and just write everything down. It's a brand new year. Start thinking about what expenses you have that you can cut and reduce and start getting things in order and if you have any questions definitely check out my website at Kimberly.com. Awesome and yes. you can do it you already are every day <laughs> so let's take one last look at those five principles of Kim's badge system here